Hello and welcome. So today I wanted to speak into solar storms, solar energies, ascension symptoms, how it all connects, but more importantly, how to work through them, how to anchor into them and how to feel better. <laughs> I feel like I have seen a lot of information out there on, you know, what's going on energetically and a little bit of you know, what to expect as far as, you know, how you might feel it, so on and so forth. But I do see a lot of people kind of saying, I feel terrible. I don't know what to do. And I wanted to just bring in a little bit more clarity, connecting the dots as to how we might be experiencing them. And it can range a lot, but more importantly, how to work with it, what it all means bigger picture wise, and how to move forward. So there today in particular, it is Monday, April 24th, <laughs> and we are in the midst of this eclipse portal. It is Mercury retrograde. So there's all sorts of energies that are working with us. And we have this massive G4 solar storm, I believe it is. There was all sorts of KP index stuff. So this is not an account that is going to look at these charts and graphs and give you daily updates on that. <laughs> I am more concerned on, again, connecting the dots, bigger picture, what it means for us, how to work with it, and how we can move forward to integrate. And that's I think the major key here, integration. And what I see and perceive as kind of missing from a lot of this, uh, you know, this world of energy updates. And so, you know, a lot of people out there are doing wonderful work. I'm not trying to take away from that, but I do feel that there is room for more clarity and structure regarding these ideas because there's a lot of chaos and confusion out there right now as well. So, what does this all mean for us bigger picture? Well, first, let's look at some of the symptoms you might be experiencing and you know, solar energies, what they are, why we actually feel them, what they're doing to us. So we have, there's a whole slew of different forms of solar energies. Again, not gonna get into the science real deep, but we have the coronal mass ejections, we have solar flares, you know, M class, X class. We have KP storms, G4 solar storms, uh, you know, all sorts of different kinds of energies and they range in um, severity. Well, that might not be the word, but, um, in intensity, that's probably the best word for it. They range in intensity and that intensity impacts us individually. So if this sounds a little, you know, weird because they acknowledge this kind of solar activity in the, the mainstream matrix world, right? <laughs> and they acknowledge that there are solar storms and so on and so forth, but they, they don't talk at all about how it might impact us little humans here on earth. So loud plane right now, that's interesting. <laughs> that might mean something, right? So we have this idea about the moon impacting tides, right? We are mostly made up of water. Most people, you know, will acknowledge that the moon impacts the tides, the, the oceans, right? Massive bodies of water. And a lot of people still don't accept or totally acknowledge the fact that the moon impacts us. We are, it ranges roughly 70% water, but at a molecular level, even more so because every, every atom, every molecule is made up of water. So, you know, at that level, I have heard up to 99% when we really want to break it down. So it's only natural that the moon would impact us little humans. Well, look at the moon compared to the sun and the massive energies that are coming off the sun. Without the sun, there would be no life on earth. So when there are things happening on the sun, it kind of makes sense from a logical perspective that it would impact individual situations and happenings and feelings here on earth because everything is energy. It's not just the water, it's the frequency, it's the energy and water is a major conductor. 
water holds memory and this does all connect to how we feel and the symptoms that we are experiencing so people talk a lot about ascension symptoms and they range there's a vast range so if you have been feeling off fatigued overwhelmed anxious depressed even feeling very emotional this is very much related to all of these cosmic shifts that are happening and the solar energies because it's high frequency plasma, high frequency solar energies, light energy that are blasting off the sun onto the planet, affecting us here on earth. And it is basically triggering our cells to release. So this is literally a detox, a forced detox, if you will. It's a decluttering of our DNA, of our cells. It's a, it's a purge, essentially, a purification. That's the word that I like to use, a purification of our being. But any kind of detox, it gets worse before it gets better. I've used this analogy of even just cleaning our physical space, decluttering, right? When we clean, when we do a spring cleaning, things look a little chaotic and crazy before we put things back in order. The dust comes out of the corners, everything looks, you know, extra dirty. So that's kind of the the process of the purging itself. We have to clear the system and it, it gets worse before it gets better. In most cases, if you've done a physical detox yourself, most of you would acknowledge that it, it doesn't feel good when you're in those detox days, but then after the fact, you feel so much better. You feel so much lighter. So at a physical human level, the light codes, the light frequencies coming off the sun are doing that exact same thing at a cellular level, at a frequency level. We are all energy. We are all frequency. Quantum reality has has acknowledged this and then when we even look at the way the cells operate mitochondria there's energy keeping the cells going sodium potassium pump <laughs> you know it's a little bit of a biology nerd back in the day uh but when we start to piece these things together it suddenly does make tangible sense you know ascension woo it sounds fun for a lot of people in the spiritual world but it's not actually a fun process when you're going through it because what does it mean it means that we have to clear our systems to be able to hold these higher frequencies so that means physical decluttering and detox that means emotional detox that means doing the deeper inner work the shadow work the inner child healing the clearing of the emotional patterns the limiting beliefs the denser heavier um, energies that are stuck within so that again this is also doing some of the deeper trauma work the trauma release and integration and this is really about a nervous system recalibration as well. So it's not always a fun or easy process, but it can manifest as cold and flu-like symptoms. So if we look at what's been going on and, and that there could be many layers of what's going on, but I, you know, I, I have to acknowledge the theory that what happened over the last few years was an attempt to distract from what we would be experiencing at this point in time because we are also going through a massive photon belt in the universe that is high frequency and this time was predicted and there all also there are planetary transitions the the further away planets they bring us into different cycles where things will come up to the surface like pluto just entered aquarius last month right so things shift at a collective level well you know perhaps I'm not gonna draw any conclusions right now, but perhaps the global situation of the last few years was an attempt to mask this awakening. This is the process of awakening, ascension, awakening, however you wanna look at it. Our cells are awakening 
our consciousness is awakening our spiritual selves are awakening and that's why because people don't have this knowledge this wisdom there is a lot of chaos and confusion in the world and what these solar energies are doing are assisting us in this upgrade process so this is literally a dna upgrade uh, and and we have to purge we have to undo the patterns so looking at epigenetics and ancestral trauma and patterns we are clearing all of that old stuff out of our systems so some of us listening here probably if you were drawn to this video in particular are probably the pattern breakers for our lineage the lineage healers if you will so not easy a <laughs> tall order i get that and it, it you know again it gets worse before it gets better and I also ascribe to the notion that our souls chose this, that our souls were chosen for this. Every soul here on the planet now was chosen to be here at this time. We chose it, we signed up, <laughs> and we wouldn't have been chosen to take this particular place that this body is incarnating as. And you wouldn't be here, I wouldn't be here if we weren't strong enough for it. So trust in that. And just know if you are experiencing these symptoms like anxiety, overwhelm, fatigue, uh, and it can get intense. It can get really intense. So, the, uh, and it aches and pains, physical aches and pains, itchiness, um, it, but it can also be vivid dreams waking up in the night and it can oh, not always feel so bad. So it's the both and um it can be this feeling of bliss and ease as well so when we've done enough of the purging it we start to shift we start to notice that when these frequencies come in that we're actually feeling quite blissful quite peaceful quite at ease and trusting in the flow of life and that's how it's meant to be that's how we're meant to experience life and we've had to purge a great deal from humanity as a collective all the trauma all the suffering all the scarcity this is what we're in the process of purging so each one of us is here to play our role in that and some of us signed up for bigger roles we've there's also the past life layer um you know if if you have had incarnations in past lives where you were persecuted there is a heavy persecution complex that needs to be transmuted and and integrated into power into purpose into light into love so that's why we're all here right now and it's actually quite an exciting to be a time to be alive. So I want to present that. And I also feel that I want to bring this up too, that if people are saying, oh, I feel terrible today. And you're like, I actually feel amazing. That's weird. Or vice versa. Like other people are saying, I feel very blissful. And you're like, oh my God, I feel like worse than ever. You know, I saw some comments today, like this is the worst day yet for me. And I want to also bring up the idea that we could be taking turns. So some of us are anchoring in the light frequencies to bring in that joy, to bring in that love, to bring in that peace and harmony and bliss. And then we might shift, we might take turns and sh uh, switch off again. And you know, yesterday, for example, I woke up and I just felt like all of my old patterns were like running through my head and I was just like having a rough morning and then i finally lay down and i listened to frequencies and that's what i'll transition to now is how we can work with these energies to integrate them and to feel better i listened to 528 hertz solfeggio frequencies and i it was like night and day i felt so much better after a 20 minute rest listening to those frequencies so it's it can shift just like that and be gentle with yourself. Give yourself the rest that you need. And so here are some really practical tips to help move through some of these symptoms and these heavier feelings when you do experience them. Hydration is super duper important right now. Again, we're all water, but it helps to cleanse, to purify. So high quality water, avoid the tap, not good. Even the, you know, standard filters are not so great, you know, Brita and Pure, like they could be a lot better. So 
get the highest possible quality water you can get your hands on and you can send love and gratitude into the water and if you channel your energy and frequency and and you know send blessings to the water this is masaru Emoto research as well you can look that up um, the water becomes more structured and if you consume that water it's going to bring those frequencies into your body and infiltrate your cells with those frequencies as well. And I can taste a difference. I don't always remember to do it, but when I do, I'm like, oh yes, the water is so much nicer now. <laughs> so play with that and work with that. That's one way. So bring, you know, your energy into your heart space and, you know, gratitude is the threshold. So have gratitude for, you know, whatever you want to have gratitude for the fact that you're breathing right now and here on earth in this magical playground and, and send that into the water. So like, just hold your glass, like a glass, a glass, not plastic cups and, you know, nonsense like that, but a glass and, and send the frequencies in and consume that. So hydration, um, I, uh, here's my list. Solfeggio frequencies and healing frequencies. So yes, use discernment. T do a little tester when you look for the free ones online. Um, but I, I find a lot on YouTube and on Spotify. I have a play playlist that I listen to, Solfeggio frequencies. Maybe I'll try to link it below. Um, and that's like a sequence that it brings us through. Le yesterday, I just wanted 528. And I was like, I trusted my intuition on that. And I felt so good after, uh, but so Feggio, so any kind of healing frequencies, because remember this is all frequency. So when we are upgrading our system energetically, th then having a, f a resource that supports that integration is going to be very helpful. So sound baths, Tibetan bowls, uh, you know, tuning forks, crystal bowls, those are also going to be very helpful for you. And be careful of the kind of mu music that you listen to. Um, like a lot of pop music, modern music is at 440 hertz, which is off. It 432 is the where it's meant to be, um, but they they shifted it many decades ago, and it was deliberate <laughs> to mess with our system. And you can hear it. You can hear it. You you'll become more and more sensitive to frequencies as well. If something has, is off, you're going to know. You're going to know. Like, I cannot listen to a lot of the music on the radio at all. I hate the radio. <laughs> Beyond the commercials, which are terrible. The radio, the TV, I don't bother with that stuff anymore. So, um, you know, take yourself out of situations if you need to. But, you know, when you're doing work, maybe put on some of these frequencies. Find what works for you. So allow your intuition to guide you as well. Breath work is going to be very helpful for the this as well. It helps to clear out the old energies. Um, breath work has been very powerful, but you can do even simple yogic breath work and Wim Hof um, in the morning, in the evening, even in the afternoon if you need to take a rest. Like solfeggio frequencies, breath work in the afternoon can really help to reset because I have found myself lagging midday a lot of the time. Grounding and connecting with nature, very important. There's the electrons on the earth that help us to ground down. It's anchoring in the frequencies to the planet. But I also want to presence that because the solar energies are higher frequency, we want to ground into the sun. It might sound a little backwards and counterintuitive, but we are anchoring in those solar frequencies. So we want to anchor into those frequencies. And how do we do that? With these high frequency uh, you know, sound tools. And yeah, we can do anything that brings us into a space of love is good too, but allowing ourselves to bask in the sun to receive those solar codes is going to be very important as well. Hug a tree, <laughs> literally. Um, try to avoid pesticide-laden grass. This is something you know. It's springtime now, and they they spray the lawns. So I just want to bring that up too because that's not great. You know, want to walk outside in the grass barefoot, maybe, but you know, consider where you're doing that. So unfortunately, that is something we have to consider. Um, grounding into the sun. I said that. Yes. So, um, you know, I also just want to bring up two final points here that we have been lacking 
a system and structure for understanding what is happening right now, um, for understanding spiritual growth and evolution. We have been lacking real acknowledgement, not just understanding, but acknowledgement that this is the journey of being a human. This is really what it's all about and why we're all here. And that has been completely shunted to the side. We have, you know, scientism and intellectualism are ruled by the rational, linear, logical mind. And that's what's taken over in society. We've been so in the head, completely out of the heart. And that has really been a detriment, very masculine. The lack of the feminine we can see in the destruction of the world, in the chaos in society, the lack of harmony. Anytime there's an imbalance, it's going to result in that kind of disharmony. So this is what the rise of the feminine, divine feminine is about, not feminism. This isn't about women taking over and ruling the world because that's just replacing one imbalance with another. This is about coming back into proper balance of the divine masculine and the divine feminine so that we work in harmony. And yeah, there is a different energy behind both, but we both, we all contain both energies. So this isn't just about men and women. Uh, and oh, let's not even get into the gender stuff these days. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a video on my perspective on that at another time. Um, you know, we love and accept everyone. We'll present that and there's stuff going on there. So we are being called to drop into the heart to figure out what is true, to have discernment and to really trust this journey and that what is happening is for our highest good. The, all of the symptoms that we are experiencing are purging, detoxing our, sy symptom, our systems so that we can hold these higher frequencies. This is the process of ascension. It's not just, you know, this ascension isn't leaving the body. It's about ascending our consciousness. It's about ascending our frequency so that we can anchor in these higher frequencies to planet Earth, to Pashamama, to Gaia, to, so that we can create a new golden age of heaven on Earth era. This is what we're entering into and it's a tall order. It really is, but we are purging the suffering, the paradigm of suffering, the paradigm of struggle, uh, the paradigm of scarcity. This is what we are purging out of our system. So yes, there is a lot here. <laughs> so if you're listening and tuning in, thank you so much for being here right now. This is not easy work. And really this does go deeper again into that shadow work, into that inner child healing, into that trauma healing. Uh, so again, nerve system upgrades. So do that somatic work, the embodiment dance. I'd love to dance. That is a really beautiful way to move the energies, number one, but also to help anchor in to our bodies and anchor in those higher frequencies. So put on uplifting music, beautiful music. Uh, there are a few songs that have been really present for me and I'm just like and one of them is called rebirth and it's just the most beautiful I can maybe link that below as well too um and yeah so this is yeah just to want to present I think I did say this already but humanity is ascending in consciousness and frequency so we need to clear out our systems because this is basically the idea of the baggage that we're carrying we need to make space for the new so we have to let go so this could also be physical decluttering of your environment clearing out your closets donating things that no longer serve you or that you no longer need uh because that's also signaling to the universe that you are open, that you are open to receiving, that you are trusting and surrendering and you are letting go. And that can help facilitate that deeper inner process that's working through you as well. So the truth is most of us have not been prepared with this knowledge or the tools. Uh, again, so that's why we see this chaos and confusion in the world. There's a great deal of confusion 
So this wisdom has been hidden quite deliberately in my humble opinion. So if you were looking for more support, I do have, well, there's a few different options right now. Um, I am doing a replay of my self mastery summit, which is conversations with 16 brilliant humans and they all come at this journey from their own perspective so we have a uh, you know nervous system talk identity the hero's journey uh, all sorts of amazing content in there and that's free <laughs> so you can absolutely register for that and if you're looking to go deeper on your personal journey with support and a system and a structure schedule a, an expansion clarity call with me and this is free no obligation obligation and I can help um, you get clear on what is appropriate for you next steps that you can take and I will link everything below as well so onward and upward in love and light I will be sharing more about the system and the structure and you know my perspective on this whole massive shift in humanity in future videos so if this resonates with you I really appreciate the like and subscribe and stay tuned and I hope to see you in the next one and oh I, I love comments so if this resonates with you absolutely Absolutely. please feel free to comment and let me know. Uh, I love connecting with you all. Onward and upward and love and light. See you soon.